Before you take on the Nat Green City Gym, it's strongly recommended you go to Pinwheel Forest, off to the, uh, to the west, really. Um, before you do, you can actually find a hidden super potion here, which may come in handy in your next fight against the gym leader. Um, you can also buy them, I think, but hey, if you can get it free, why not? So, talk to this person here, and she will give you Rock Smash, or the TM for Rock Smash. It's a move, a fighting type attack, that uh, sometimes lowers the foe's defense. It is great early on in the game, and a lot of Pokemon can learn it, so I strongly recommend seeing which of your Pokemon can learn it and teaching it to it right away. It's not an HM or anything, you can get rid of it whenever you want. That's the beauty of TM moves now, is that they're so versatile. So that will help your fight uh, later on against the normal type gym. So talk to this nurse here and she will bite you! Nurse Sherry. Yes, they, they added nurses to the game. Nurses and doctors. Which is really cool, and I'll, I'll show you more about them in a moment here. But, before you can use their, uh, their resources, so to speak, you need to best them in battle first. They're not usually too hard, but they do have Pokémon that are eh, usually psychic types or healing-esque things. So this Muna here, it's using Yawn, which means I would have just fallen asleep had I stuck around. Yeah, I could have used a Chesto Berry or something, but eh, why would I do that? I'm just going to switch to Maryland instead, so that way I'm not going to be put to sleep. Oh my, you are very tough. I am very tough. Tough trainer, I will make your Pokemon healthy. Tough trainer. Around the Pinwheel Forest, a lot of Pokemon inflict poison or paralysis, so she says. So one of the new Pokemon you can find on this, well, it's not really a route, it's the exterior of Pinwheel Forest. Um, you can find Timber here, and this log chucking fighting type machine, it's a pretty good fighting type. There's actually a total of three fighting types you can catch here. You can catch Timber, which is fairly common, or you can catch Throw or Sock. Throw is a lot more common in Pokemon White, whereas Sock is more common in um, Pokemon Black. Oh darn it. You can find the other versions fighting type dude in the uh, shaking grass but very rarely but that's the only time you can find it otherwise you're gonna find your uh, your main version is one so like I'll be finding throw most of the time but it's cool that you can catch both or you can catch timber if you want which evolves into cockledur eventually and that's a great Pokemon all three are really good and they'll really help against uh, against the gym leader so you might really want to consider adding one of these fighting types to your team right away. Please show me what kind of Pokemon you're training! Oh yeah? I'll show you, preschooler Juliet. She has a Cottony. Oh, is she gonna do that whole, you know, grass type duo thing? Yeah, she is. So she starts off with Cottony, and if you're playing Pokemon White, you'll be able to catch a Cottony. If you're playing um, Pokemon Black, you catch uh, pet a little instead, I think. But you can trade for the opposite one, as you saw in, uh, Nat Green City. You can trade a girl for the one that doesn't match your version. You can't catch these yet. You're not gonna be able to until you go to the interior of the pinwheel forest. You know, the actual forest. <laughs> um, and that's when you'll be able to find them in the wild. Okay, so this thing's a little bit of a pain. I think being a flying type, I totally have the edge, huh? But this cottony is pretty tough. Paralyzing me. Not cool, man. Not cool. Okay. There. Finally, it's done. Over. And I gain a nice amount of experience points, too. Excellent. Okay, now if you are using a uh, P-Dub, Air Cutter. That's like one of the best moves you can teach your Pedo, because it has an increased chance of inflicting a critical hit. And since Pedo's ability, well, assuming you have the good ability for Pedo, which is super luck, Big Pex isn't really that good. But if you have the super luck Pedo, um, 
that means you have a really good chance of inflicting a critical hit with that. And later on in the game, you can get the, uh, the scope lens, which increases your critical hit even further. So that's the strategy behind Pito. Just so you know, critical hits and hoping to get lucky with that. Even though it uses a tough trainer, I will make your Pokemon healthy. Tough trainer. Um, you can go back and talk to that nurse anytime you want to heal. Remember that. So, let's see. Looks like my Pokemon are in good shape now. But I am low on items. So I'm going to go back and... Actually, I'm going to switch my Pokemon around. That's what I'm going to do. I'll get items later. Um, over here you can find an Aether. Yeah, I just switched, um, let's see, I think I put Roggenrola and Wubat on my team. And the Fighting-type thing. I got the Timber on my team. If you caught a Fighting-type Pokemon, make sure you bring it with you. I will let you see what kind of Pokemon I have! Oh yeah? What kind of Pokemon do you have? Little Homer. Don't! Oh! Uh, he has a Roggenrola! Roggenrola! Yeah? Okay, um, but anyway, as I was saying, make sure you have a Fighting-type Pokémon before you go too far here, because you can get yourself a really valuable item every day. I mean, it's not, like, valuable as in super-duper rare, but you'll get a Star Piece, which you can sell in a shop for, like, I think 4800 or something, and you can do this every day, which is great. And later on in the game, you can sell it to someone for even more money. I will show you, don't worry. But it's gonna take a little bit to get there. We gotta get through Homer first! Don't! So, he has that roll and roll on. And it, uh, you know, has sturdy, so it's gonna take two hits. Did you see my Pokemon? It's sturdy and great, isn't it? Your Pokemon, it's sturdy and great! Okay, speaking of great, you can find a great ball here. Which is a really great ball. Not really, but... You know, it'll get the job done. It certainly doesn't hurt having great balls at this point. Um, because you can use those to catch some of the harder to catch Pokemon. Okay, I'm brave and bold. Let's have a battle. He's brave and bold. Can you handle both? I don't know. Keita? Keita? Kaita? I don't know. Could be anything. Um, but he sends out a Timpole! And that's that, that little tadpole polywag replacement thing uh, from earlier that N had. And it's a little annoying, but gives some good experience when you knock it out. Yeah, let's try out this air cutter, man. Come on, I want a Kirkle hit on this thing. That's where it's at. Okay, it's just gonna growl all day. Hey, what do I care? I'm, I'm, using, I'm using my air cutter now. It's special, baby. You can't handle that. Okay. Righteous, level 16. And you're still not that good. Oh, well, I didn't say that, Hope. I'm just kidding. You're doing okay. It's tough training Pokemon earlier on in the game, but later, once you have the experience share, it becomes a lot easier to train up Pokemon. Um, some trainers like to have, you know, a whole bunch of different Pokemon on their team, but at this point in the game, I wouldn't recommend having more than three. Because there's nothing you really need more than three for, and your options are so limited at this point in the game that you're gonna have to replace a Pokémon on your team, like if you wanted to upgrade or something. So that's why if you have maybe two or three Pokémon, or heck, I mean, you could just, just have your starter and pick up some of the better Pokémon later. My bold bravery is vanishing into the air! Ah! No, not the air! Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> not the air. Anything but the air. <laughs> so over here, there's an antidote, and, you know, you've seen literally thousands of those. But there's also some thick grass over here. And this is where you're gonna find the good Pokemons at. You're gonna find, um, Pokemon at a higher level than you would elsewhere. Which is a good thing. Uh, let's see, yeah, Timpole here, level 14, I mean, heck, level 14, you can basically put that in your team right away, just train it up a few levels. I do like how the wild Pokemon levels are a lot more balanced. It seems like you can catch Pokemon and train them up fairly quickly, which is good. Now, I want to catch this one. That's why I'm not using, like, 
uh, air cutter or anything on it. I just want to make sure I catch it. Because, you know, I'm going through, trying to catch as many Pokemon as I can. It's everyone's goal to be a Pokemon master. Little twerp. Appear to be caught. Yeah, right. Ah, this thing is making a mockery of my hope here. What's that all about? Okay, let's try it again. What? What is this? This is like a super temple or something. This is like... Not cool, bro. Okay, Temple. You're getting into that Pokeball one way or the other. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to put you in a sandwich between that red and white. What is this? Okay. 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 It's serious business now. This Pokeball. Come on. Come on. I shouldn't have to treat this Temple as if it were a legendary Pokemon. It's just a Temple, for goodness sakes. Trust me, you shouldn't have that difficult of a time catching a Tim Pole. But for some reason, I did. I guess that one just has a bone to pick with me or something. Stupid tadpole. Ugh! I don't want to use it now. Actually, I wouldn't anyway, because I'm- I started with Ocean Wall. Okay, wild Pokemon, but it wasn't exciting. Another wild Pokemon, but it wasn't exciting. Just trust me, I just hit run. You're not missing anything. I'm actually gonna go back and heal, if I can get past these wild Pokémon! But thankfully, I don't have to go too far. Tough trainer! I will make your Pokémon healthy. Okay, um... So she makes your Pokémon healthy, but I'm actually gonna go and restock items, because that stupid Timpole wasted, like, all my Pokéballs. I picked up, I think, like, a Great Ball or two, or a few of them, because... I want to catch one of those fighting types. Badly! One of the other ones, either Sock or Throw. But, before I do that, I'm gonna head on east over here, southeast. These are special Pokemon I just caught. Oh yeah, what's so special about them? Why don't you show me? What do you got, Zachary? What do you got, Venipede? Ooh, I've not seen a Venipede before. What does this thing do? It's a weird bug-type thing. It looks like it has something on its back. It actually looks kind of neat. I mean, it looks ugly at the same time, but in that way that... You would expect from a real bug Pokemon. Thankfully, Hope just loves the fact that it's a bug type. Because that means Air Cutter's gonna hit extra strong. And then youngster Zachary also has a little pup, little pup, little pup go. Yeah, I know. Never gets old, huh? Level 14. Oh yeah, there's that critical hit. There's where I was going. Oh yeah. That's why I named her Hope after all, because I'm hoping for those critical hits. Yeah. Keep at it. I just caught them. I'm not even raising them yet. Wine, wine, wine. Oh. So, up these stairs, you're going to find a big rocky kind of area. And another while, it's like a pita of or something, so don't worry about it. This rock is the challenge rock. Do you want to have woodchucker smash the rock? Now, if you have a fighting type in your team, you can smash this rock by talking to it every day. And you'll get a, um, star piece every day. I train and train like a madman, and my Pokemon train even more! So are they mad Pokemon, or what? Or what? Huh? Um, Kentaro here. Black Belt. And he uses a woodchucker. I mean, a timber. Sorry, I just named mine woodchucker, because he chucks wood. And the real question you need to ask is, how much wood would woodchucker chuck if woodchuck could chuck wood? Er, woodchucker could chuck wood? Could wood? Could Woodchucker chuck wood if it could? I don't know. I'm confusing myself. And that was not cool, bro. Don't use rock throw on my bird! Marilyn gonna get some revenge on you, yo. You are not gonna like this. Razor shell! Oh! Yeah, do what now, huh? Yeah, yeah, even though I lost some energetic. Yeah, but you knocked out my bird! You can't do that. No one knocks out my bird. No. Um, okay, another wild Pokemon of no importance. And I'm gonna get swift vengeance upon this battle girl. I test the challenge rock with my fist every day. It's important to make steady progress, even if it's little by little. Yeah! Even though it looks like you're kicking there, but whatever. Oh, it's another timber. So I'm just gonna pretend that the two are related somehow, so Marilyn can enact his swift vengeance as a good duot would do. Am I right? Yeah, something like that. Okay, um, I'll work on the speech later, but you can fight both of these two 
martial artists are up here and get a little bit of experience from beating their timbers. Shiver me timbers! Right? <laughs> okay, so, beat Battle Girl Lee. And, uh, ugh, another wild Pokemon. It's nothing exciting, don't worry. I just ran from it. If it's anything exciting, don't worry, I'll show you. So, loop around here and you can pick up a netball! Woohoo! Yay! It catches bugs. And something, I think. I don't know. I think, like, water types of fish all the time. Tough trainer! I will make your Pokemon healthy! Oh, snap. Okay, uh, heal up again. And I'm going back because I want to do something. But first, I want to save my game. Remember, kids, it's important to save your game. Save it as often as you can. I oftentimes just cut my saving scene or save inside of a Pokemon Center, but that doesn't mean I don't save the game. So I'm gonna look for Audino, and I'm gonna run around and run around and run around a railroad, or what? Run, run, run around a railroad track or something. I don't know. I'm confusing myself. But you can just run around and try to watch for the shaking grass. I found that up there didn't work so well, but this is like the first place I found Shaking Grass when I played through the Japanese version, so I'll do it here. See, it's right above me. You couldn't see it too well, but you'll hear it, and you will see the grass move. That, right there, that is going to be your best friend in the whole world, or at least in the Unova region, other than maybe your main Pokemon, although probably even more so. This is odd enough, and it's sort of like the Chansey of you know, the previous generations. It has good hit points, good stats, but most importantly, it gives you a ton of experience. More experience than your body has room for. It is insane. It gives you awesome, awesome amounts of experience, and all you need to do to find it is just run around the, um, run around the border of some tall grass. Look, 665 experience points. You cannot beat that. And I want to learn Roost. Okay, great. But, really, just stop and think. Where can you get that kind of experience? Not even trainers give that much. All you need to do, if ever, if ever you are low on experience, is just run around some tall grass until you hear it shake. Or until you see it shake. And then just go in there. Most of the time, it will be Audino. Audino. Audino, whatever it is. See, it's shaking up there. I'm just forgetting about it, because... I'm a noob. Yeah. But, um, seriously. Okay, that that was a double battle, but it was not exciting. This one's exciting, okay? So this is the one I'm going to show you. This is an example of a double wild battle in the thick grass. And, as a matter of fact, there's that throw I've been searching for my whole life. Well, at least this whole episode. I'm going to speed this up because... It's a long fight, and this is already a very long video. <laughs> um, it's a little bit of a challenge, but I want to catch this thing badly. I don't want to accidentally knock it out, and I don't know how much hope is going to do with either Gust or um, Air Cutter. I really don't want Air Cutter to be a critical hit. Ow! You knocked out Maryland! How could you? Man! Okay, so I'm just going to like chip away at its hit points using assurance because it's resistant to that and it's just doing a little bit more. I just want to weaken it just a little bit before I go in for the cat. What? Man, that thing's strong. Can't believe it. Strong trainer. Okay, uh, oh, toss me a great ball at that. And I wonder if, you know, the slowing down of the music and the speed means I'm going to catch it. <gasps> wow, spoilers, it does. I can't believe it. Who saw that one coming? Alright, so I caught myself a throw! The Judo Pokémon! They try to throw foes bigger than themselves. How are you gonna handle that? So I'm gonna go back to Nacarine City, change up my team, and then I'm finally gonna take on the Nacarine Gym in the next episode of Maryland's Pokémon White Adventure! <laughs>